It's main bathroom week. So far this week, finished the pool, had a wedding, and done a challenge. Congratulations, fans. That the fans won again. Fans! Mr. Carl and Cara are the most cashed up contestants ever. Team Super K. Super K! Cara and Kyle. The Super K is a miles ahead of everybody. And the faves are getting concerned. Certainly not fan versus favourites anymore. At the end of the day, the fans have the upper hand. Their egos are just a little bit dented. If they win, they're going to be up like 50 grand or something, which is an astronomical amount of money compared to the rest of us. If we don't win $10,000 this week, we are going to be down the dumps. This week, the bathroom kings and queens have to fight off usurpers to the throne. If we can come away with another win, it'll just be really good for our self-esteem levels like in regards to the previous bathroom. Everybody's got something to prove. Pressure's right on the bathroom queens. It's our time to prove why we wanted to come back and why we're here. The question is, how many secret weapons can you fit in the smallest room in the house? It is game one. Oh. It's... Brad didn't cut his honeymoon short to come back and, and lose everything from here on in. Our contestants have just over two days to get their main bathroom ready for judging. And they're going to have to get up pretty early to beat the super case. Once again, Kyle's first up and into the day. Up early, got the tilers coming back today to tile all the walls. So I want to try and get in before them and, you know, whack a coat of paint on the ceiling. And it looks like he's got some backup. My brother Jai's come to visit, so he's going to hang out and... It's good. Family visits are good. Hello, Kyle speaking. Oh, hi, Kyle. It's Kim down at the show. I can't leave our calling. Hey, Kim. How are you going? Good. Um, your dog's down here. You got Jonah? Yes. Okay, no worries. I'll send someone down to grab him. Just because the block is taking over their lives doesn't mean life stops back at home for our contestants. But it turns out that Jonah, Kyle and Cara's Kelpie Cross, is a bit of an escape artist. He's part of our family. He's cool. He's good fun. Jeez, he's annoying sometimes, but I've got to go get him picked up. Better put a call into the house sitter. Hello. Hey, man, how you going? Uh, Did I wake you up? Not really. <laughs> and so the day begins. You get a light on, mate? Yeah. No time to stand around chatting. There's lots to be done before reveal. You shouldn't be too long, should you? Oh, yeah. Really? OK. All right, we'll All get right. that. Thank you. Oh. Elisa and Lissandra reckon their tradies have got everything under control. So they're forward planning. We have a little bit of downtime because the tiler's tiling away, so we can't do anything in there, and Sean's not needed. So we thought, try and forward plan for the next couple of rooms, our master, our kitchen. The downstairs area, really. I don't know what it is in my bones, but I'm feeling kitchen week might be our week. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can nail it. In apartment four, Brad and Dale are struggling with artistic differences. Brad stresses a little when, when things are about the mosaic. a bit um, less than plain. No, I don't mind not less than plain, but. That... I reckon that's ugly. <laughs> the biggest problem we're facing at the moment uh, is coming up with an idea of where our little recess part is in the shower, where your shampoo and conditioner and your soap goes. Thinking about having a little timber uh, feature in the back of that, or mosaic. But I'm leaning more towards timber, but it's just figuring out how to, how to make it look good. Yes. Yes. Yes, Timber. <laughs> <laughs> Like this we'll, be, we'll be doing our best to get some uh, timber to put in there today. Over in apartment one, Chantel and Steve are going with some decorative features of their own. An interesting layout with our little nook. Once we get our, you know, timber um, yeah, feature to tie in the parquetry. Chantel wants to do a parquetry insert in the ceiling to tie in with the feature wall in the bedroom. If we can do that, that's going to be my task today. Yes, you heard that wrong. 
Chantel, who didn't even know how to use a drill when she started here, is going to make a parquetry ceiling insert. Yeah. I feel confident. <laughs> <laughs> I feel confident. She's definitely being very ambitious with the parquetry. I think it's something that maybe a skilled tradesman usually does. I'm willing to have a crack. Yeah, cool. But I, I just don't know. I can show you exactly how to do it. Yeah, sweet. And if, you know, it saves costs of me being here, if you want to do it, then yep. that's, that's cool. <laughs> uh -oh. This little one's all excited about getting in and giving things a go. And I'm all for it. Saving money. This is the big thing. That's right. Honestly, and I'd rather Luke goes. do it perfectly. <laughs> I'd rather Luke do it perfectly, but we don't have money. But it's a, an issue about getting things, you know, millimetre perfect. And if we're going to win, win rooms, then we need these things, you know, absolutely perfect. I don't want to fall short on not spending money on the things that need money spent on them. And for me, that feels like you. a fairly straightforward get, get a professional to make it. You know what? Even Luke has faith in me. He, Luke said, yeah, you can do this. Based on your rich woodwork history. You know what? Go shopping, Captain Negative. So that's Steve in his place. Am I Captain Negative? Jeez. <laughs> I'm not usually that negative. I'm just realistic and I want us to win, you know? This is the positive team right here. This is us. Positive. We're positive. Smile. We're the happy. We're the smiley ones. <laughs> no frowns. Steve, Captain Negative. <laughs> Over at apartment two, the drama with Jonah the dog has been sorted. There's some friends of ours are house sitting for us at the moment, so they're looking after Jonah. So fingers crossed my mate Trev can keep him in the garage once he gets a hold of him, put him in there and just, you know, wait till the storm settles down. So yeah. But there's another drama. Kyle and Kara's very expensive and heavy bathtub needs to be installed. Um, the bath actually weighs 150 kilos, so we're going to have trouble getting it up the stairs here because the temporary scaffold's just so tight, so small, there's just no way we'd fit it up there. So I think we're going to split some craneage costs with the boys and um, crane it in. I want to you. Elsewhere on the block, Keith and his team are making sure that all the party walls are in and ready for next week's room. So these walls we have right here are our petition walls in between the apartments, but they also act as a firewall. We simply put fire check plaster on the skin rather than put your normal gyp rock. We put one layer on that side, we fill this with insulation, and then we put fire check plaster on this side again, which gives us an hour and a half fire rating. So I reckon the kitchen's probably going to finish. Yeah? It's going to be the biggest kitchen on the planet. Yeah, I think having that wall up like, gives you a better idea of the space you have to work with. And it kind of... Everything that we had in our head kind of fits in with the space. Wow, oh, man, that kitchen is ginormous. When you see the layout and how we've designed it, I don't think that it's going to be like oversized for this place. I think it will work really well. I just think it's going to be hopefully big and impressive rather than just wow. Ah, the old wow factor. And the twins have lashed out on this cast concrete vanity. But guess what? There's a problem. Solid. That's solid concrete. Can you grab it? Oh, nah. Well, I just walked into Elisa and Lissandra's bathroom and just noticed a great big concrete slab, which they're going to use as a bench top. But that concrete slab must weigh at least 120, 130 kilos, and it's in a small little area, so it's a concentrated load. The wall that's provided it simply isn't strong enough to uh, take that concrete slab. You've got to tell me about these things. You can't just simply build what you want to build. You've got to, you've got to let me know. These are only a lightweight wall. They're not a solid brick wall. You have to reinforce the hell out of it. So what I want to see, right? three hardwood studs laminated together, bolted together. Let's go three over there. Because we've already weakened that area, which, which we're going to be putting the bracket in. So it's only 25 mil thick now. Yeah. So lucky I come along. OK. 
All right, let's get on to it because we've got so much to do. Yeah. It's going to take the car up and it's probably two hours to get the timber here and I'd say two or three hours to actually rectify the wall before they can put on that concrete slab. Yeah, we don't need to get other guys in because it just isn't going to happen, is it? You won't get anyone else in. I was just thinking that things are running too smoothly. At the moment, I think the girls aren't going 100%. I know last year, they were just into it. Every minute, they were just busy and keen and organising things. This year, they're sitting back. You do this, you do that. You just take it easy. It's not going to happen. They're going to they're gonna fall well behind. They're not going to produce a good room. They're not winning challenges, so they're low on money. They're in trouble at the moment. It's only early, but I can see it. They're in trouble. I heard that. Now, I've just discovered a problem in there, but I've discovered a bigger problem downstairs in the kitchen. It's way bigger. Blockhead's main bathrooms have to be finished in just under 48 hours. And everybody's got something special in store to wow the judges. We did have a bit of a shocker with our first bathroom, so we really want to make a point out of doing this bathroom. We want this bathroom to be a really big wow factor. Hopefully it's going to be enough to, you know, win the judges over and hopefully we can come away with a win. I like that. Look at that. Such a good choice of colours. Kyle and Cara are definitely splashing their winnings around. And Kyle, we have to pay Jai for his help. All right, now we're waiting for the crane. And money is one thing that's in short supply over at apartment one. But according to Steve, having Chantel doing the parquetry is false economy. We want to try and save money, but if the people are here and you're working underneath them, then they could just get it done and it'll be done. But she wants to do it, you know. There's the button there. Yep. You push your thumb across, push that gut to stay safety. Yep. Then pull down. The little project she set herself is fairly hard for a beginner. You'll mark where you want the hole. If you get a jigsaw, you know what a jigsaw looks yep. like? Yep, yep. I don't want to destroy hopes and dreams, but I'm just like... And start it up. So just, well, how do I do that? I think Captain Negative would just have uh, me do the whole lot if he could. Luke's going to be here all day. Get him to do what we need him to do. <laughs> we'll have to push oh, you push it that way? Yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, oh no, we're not, are we? We're, tr I'm we're trying to teach. We're not. Cutting the hole in. Get the you don't like it? Oh, it scares me. Well, woman's got to learn. See you in hell. So far, Chantel's lesson has taken three hours of Luke's time. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting through to Chantel on this one. She, I think she wants to just have a go at everything. Yeah, you look like you're doing a really good job there. Sweet, thanks. It's coming out really nice. So how come Steve Stays isn't up. doing this? How come you, you're doing all the labour? Because I demanded that I wanted a crack. I'd be buying Steve a nail bag. I don't know, maybe we'd buy Chantel a nail bag now, because... I'd be buying maybe. Steve a nail bag. Just, uh... What do you got against women being on tools, Keith? I much prefer being with a partner who allows me to, you know, he sees me as an equal, and that's why it's no problem. Everyone else seems to have a bit of a problem with the woman doing this, and, you know, Steve and I are sharing that. Back upstairs, Lisa and Lysandra's solid concrete vanity has caused some issues, but that's nothing compared to what Keith's found in their kitchen. Can I please have a chat for a minute? Another one. Better not bring Another bad news. One. We've had a lot of bad oh, news no, today. I know. It hasn't been a good day. I think this has one's not been a, good day for us. a major, major issue. The girls have actually increased the length of their kitchen. It was originally five and a half metres. It's now gone to seven metres in length, which means it runs into the stairs at the end of their kitchen. It can't happen like that. This landing comes across here. Right. Yeah. Now, the bottom of the spiral staircase stops under here. But off the bottom of the spiral staircase, we've also got stairs down to this slab here. So in reality, your kitchen needs to end where Elisa is standing. But I mean, that's still going to be quite awkward, isn't it? Like if we have the kitchen, your bench top only going to come out 600. 600. So, you around. so you've got to go like. 
when we're planning a room and nothing's shown on the plans, like, obviously that, that affects the whole feel of this room. I, I, I don't know what, I think they expect you to be mind readers on this show. They give you a plan with nothing on it, no elevations, no measurements. You design a room and then they throw a curveball. Oh, by the way, there's a landing there. Like, seriously? The back two apartments are 700 mil lower than the front two. So the boys are in the same boat. But they're not worried. We knew that the entranceway was going to have to have a landing because the height difference from where the communal lift's going to be and your front door's going to be here. So you're not going to walk in your front door and drop down 800 mil. And the stair specs had on it that um, the actual first tread starts so high on the specs from the bottom base plate that it had to be on a landing, else the first step would have been 700 high or something. So, yeah, it wasn't wasn't a big surprise to us that there's going to be a landing, so... Why can't we just have a f***ing normal staircase? And as usual, the girls think they haven't made a mistake. They think it's my fault, but I don't see it that way. So bad luck. Crane's here, finally. First up is the concrete grinder for the boys' floors. Normally we have timber, windows, roof sheets, bricks, but today, having a bathtub and a bloody concrete grinder lifted up. I can't believe it. Dale tells me because you guys are flushed with money, you're going to pay for crate, is that right? Oh, did he tell you that? <laughs> 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 no, not a chance. You know, it's a competition, and the boys would be in the same boat if they were winning the cash too. It is what it is. We'll split the cost 50-50, and that's fair for everyone. Mate, I reckon the hire of this crane is going to cost more than this bath. No way. What's the bath worth? <laughs> Retail of this bath's about eight grand. Eight grand? That's You're it. obviously winning too much money, mate. <laughs> now it's Carl's turn. Better wrap it up tight, fellas. There's a bit of a stiff breeze up today, and the last thing we want is it going all Humpty Dumpty on us. It's pretty windy. And it's like a, you know, it's a fairly big surface area, so the wind's going to want to just take it and blow it all the way around. So, you know, hopefully we can hang on to it. But there's a problem. The only landing site is on apartment one. Can't get it over the back. Well, with this wind, he's not happy to drive. And the thoroughfare? Right where Chantel is working on her parquetry. You can't go on your side? You can't. No, they can't get the crane over there. I tried to. Well, I can um, just drag it down there as long as people don't come up the stairs there for a while. Yeah, sweet. But two hours later, the bath still hasn't been moved. They're annoying. Someone gets you to move so they can move their stuff and then they don't do it. Pain in the ass. <laughs> Hey, Kyle. Yes, we're going to move it now for you. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Someone get on that end. Oh, I'll call you back in the car. Where'd he go? Maybe sideways, like that. You're right, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. You have to square up. Just watch those edges. Right. It's a shame to get a crane, bring up the bath. I don't know, 600 bucks on the crane high and then smash the bar. You all right? OK. You just told me it's worth eight grand. That bath is worth 8,000 bucks. Lucky's been winning a few challenges. Yep. You the supervisor, Kyle? Yep, yep. Watch your step. Yep. Now, back towards um, the window. Yep, down, down, down. There she is. There she is. That is killer. But before bath time, it's time for everyone to play my favourite game show. Wheel of Misfortune! <laughs> afternoon, troops. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As you know, yesterday, the main man himself, Mr Neil Whitaker, judged your challenge and awarded these two beautiful pieces of art, not to the faves, but once again to the fans. But, of course, that's not all that you get. You also get a chance to spin my wheel. <laughs> would you like to see what's on the wheel this week? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, so would I. Is it? Oh, oh, no. 
Sickening. Coming up... It never gets rain bonus. bonus. The girls are very cranky. At the end of the day, the fans have the upper hand. If we want to do something, we're never allowed to do it. We just feel like enough is enough. Afternoon, troops. Afternoon, Carl yeah. and Cara, Chantel and Steve, you get to keep these brand new pieces of artwork as the winners of yesterday's challenge. Here on the block, we like to reward excellence. You also get a chance to spin my wheels. <laughs> Would you like to see what's on the wheel this week? Yes, please. Yeah. Got it. See. But I like to let fate take a hand too. Just have a look at this. What is it? Oh! <laughs> Scotty revealed the wheel, it said hand the prize over. And um, we were just like, take the thousand dollars. <laughs> we don't like the art particularly, but we can appreciate it. This is the wheel of misfortune. Oh, wow. But my mate at I Select, he wants me to give you some more choices. He's killing me, this bloke. So over here on the bags of concrete are six other options. I want you guys to go and select three, stick them up on the wheel. That's a winner. And this, this, this. Ah, yeah. sweet. Move your head, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Plum for a ring. Two thousand cash. Really? Okay, now last week, Kyle and Kara spun the wheel, and it was a disaster. It's yesterday. No! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> you guys get a thousand bucks each. Woo! Yeah. So I think maybe. One of you two guys should spin it this week, Steve or Chantel. I think you've earned it today. Should we both yeah, do she's it? She's killed it. Come in, spin up. All right. Nice big spin. Oh, oh, I don't want to look. Oh, this is looking good for play. Oh, look out. <laughs> look out. Oh, yeah! Good, good. How oh, good is yeah, that? Geez. We needed this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so the newbies won another thousand bucks, so I felt quite good about that because Kyle and Cara obviously desperately needed it, and um, Steve and Chantel obviously flying, so oh, it's the other way around, yes, isn't it? Yeah, right. well, sorry. Fans, you get a thousand bucks each per team. Well done, congratulations. Never mind, fate. <laughs> it's been a tough couple of days. Get back up to your bathrooms. It's all over. Do you know, I think our luck might be changing. Either that, <laughs> either that, or we had two very lucky people, you know, give us their luck for the moment. Yeah, yeah, just Share don't count luck. your chickens yet. Seems like things are finally turning around for Steve and Chantel. And here comes Cara with another thousand dollars. This is the money she owes them from last week's wheel. Oh, yeah. Present for you. Sweet. <laughs> oh, There's you. your wheel of misfortune money. Sorry, dude, but thank it's you. This good. means a lot to us. <laughs> I think you need it. Well, almost. It's a hundred dollars short. Oh, okay. Because I took it out a week ago, seriously, and okay. um, I spent it a hundred dollars. So I just need to get a hundred dollars out for you. A hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> Easy to be casual with a hundred bucks when you've won nearly thirty thousand. How's that? She paid me a hundred dollars short. Really? Yeah. Didn't tell me on the spot. I had to count it to find out. Take me away. You're so comfortable. I'm earning a three thousand dollar bar. Thanks very much. It's a little bit more than that. More than that. I'm doing the basic thing right now. So, um, this is what? I used to catch the photos, right? 3.48 a.m. Good night. Nice to see you. It's the morning of the day before room reveal, and in apartment two, Carl's feeling good. I'm really happy with the feel of it so far. We've got the bath in, 
We've got the timber ceiling, it's got the vanity top to go on soon. And um, yeah, it's feeling really cool. Um, I may not make a lot of sense today. We had a, a couple of hours sleep. We should be okay because we haven't slept so badly all week, but um, geez, it feels a bit rough. Life on the block is stressful and it can really take it out of you. Chantel's decided to keep track of her energy expenditure. We're wearing um, these little Fitbits and it tells us how many steps we've taken each day, how many calories we've burnt. I think yesterday I burnt 3,000 calories and I stepped about 14,000 steps. The average person walks about 3,000 steps a day. My joints are killing me and I really do hope these help. The boys' polished concrete floors on level one are taking shape. A couple of days ago, they did a big pour on the whole area. And today's the day they start the grind. Yeah, no, we're going to try and get the first grind on today. It's a bit of a long process, so the quicker we can start, the you know, quicker we can get the next one on. But the girls are not happy about it. That's definitely building forward. Fair enough that the slab had to be yeah, laid to get dry. That. Yeah. I understand that, but that's working forward. Like, we could start battening out our floors. Yeah, and... why can't we start Like, doing there's that. always double standards in case it's like, oh, don't worry, just worry about your own room. We always allow people to achieve polished concrete, and to do that, they have to grind today. It's just the way the, the concrete dries, and now with the time it grinds, it's been down for a few days. If they leave it too long, it'll be too hard. So the guys basically have to get in today and give it a, just the first grind. We're not even onto this area yet, but yet their floors are, their, their floors are completely oh, leveled. Done. There's three grinds in the whole process, in the polishing process. So they're going to do the main grind over the whole area, and then come back in each room and do the finishing touches. We never get thrown a bone. It always seems to be us, the ones that are never, if we want to do something, we're never allowed to do it. We never get told what's going on. We're not allowed to move forward. If any other team had chosen to do polished concrete, they would have been allowed to do exactly the same process. We always do that in the block. Come next week when we have to start battening out our floors and they're all finished. And you mean worrying about our room? They're three days ahead. They just don't have an understanding as to how long it actually takes, how many grinds they have to do, so, you know, it's a pretty lengthy process. If I was them, I'd be just concentrating on what I'm doing, not what other contestants are doing. If they want to get sucked into all the politics of the block, I'll go backwards. Coming up, it's simply dodgy. Chantel's parquetry feature ceiling hits an obstacle. When I deliver a house, everything's perfect. You should try and achieve that. I didn't ask him to do it. He said he'd help me do it. I think they've dug a big hole they can't get themselves out of. everyone's bathrooms are starting to take shape. I have just unveiled my masterpiece and I'm pretty happy with how it's set. In an attempt to save money, Chantel and Steve have given Luke the day off. So Chantel's flying solo on her parquetry feature ceiling. G'day, Chantel. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, this is looking all right. Ah, thank you kindly. Well, because you've done such a good job, and I know your chippy's not here today, I might get you over the line. I'll give you a hand putting this up. That would really be appreciated. But there's a problem. You've got 10 mil of radiator pine exposed. We're in a bathroom, right? So there's going to be yeah, a lot of yeah. steam. So steam is going to hit that, and over time, that'll just rot out. It's simply dodgy. We have to cover it up, especially in a wet what area. We, what we... Well, we've got we to cover up a bit of timber. That's what I'm thinking. All oh, right. Chantel hates that idea. The LED strips are already in, electrician's been in, it's good to go. Our measurements are exact, so if we put any other wood in there, it's going to yeah. muck up our measurements. Can we just seal it? No, no good. I didn't want radiator pine being exposed. You but we can paint that with something that's waterproof, and that would have the same effect what as the wood. What happens when that paint goes away, though? Because paint eventually does, it just does. You can't leave exposed radiator pine in a bathroom. You know, when I, when I deliver a house, everything's perfect. Everything. When you buy a new house, you're trying to buy 
product which is 100%. Yeah, totally. You should try and achieve that. So that the way I see it, if you're not achieving it, you stop, you achieve it. Over in apartment three, the twins are still not happy. They think everybody's getting help but them. Everything is being dumped into our section. You all know, the scaffolding, scaffolding, all the stairs, all, all the, the jet rock, rock, all the studs, everything Everything's is just in like our section. I guess we just feel like enough is enough. And at the end of the day, the fans have the upper hand. They've been getting help along the way. If anything, I think Elise and I are probably sitting on the bottom as far as, you know, any type of advantage goes. Yeah. Back upstairs, Chantel might not see Keith's help as much of an advantage. He's gone ahead and packed the gap with ply against her wishes. This has turned into, I think, so far about two and a half, three hours. So I'll end up giving these guys about five or six hours a day. I think that Keith's a bit of a drama queen, to be honest. This is six ninety-five. Yeah. But we actually want seven twenty-two. Correct. Or we stick to the border plan. He did offer to help me not to sort of take over and not let me play things out as I'd planned. This is designed to go in to the lip. So the border goes in first, and then this just goes plop. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, sorry. I don't, yeah. I don't understand. I can't, I, honestly, I can't understand what you're saying. Okay. Here's the thing. Before Luke knocked off, he cut the backing board and the borders so they'd fit perfectly into the inset. All Chantel had to do was glue on the parquetry, cut along the backing board's edges and fit the panel in. But when Keith packed the gaps in the inset with ply, he effectively changed all the measurements. What you're saying, you want to put this in first as an insert. Yep. That in there, then cut the, the, that screen inside this, yeah? Pretty tricky. And it looks like he's just figured out what that means. We're not in a joinery shop, we're on no. a building site. Yeah. And I've got a, uh, a power saw electric plane to achieve a perfect coffered ceiling. It's not that easy. It really isn't what you're asking me to do. This has turned into a big exercise. It's a big job. I wish I hadn't taken it on. If it's too hard, Keith. It's huge. No, it's not too hard, but I'm not, all I'm saying, I'm going to have to devote my whole day to it. Well, don't worry about it, Keith. To be totally honest, I was a bit um, disappointed and a bit hurt today by how everything played out. This was a task that Luke had set for me to do by myself with people to help me lift it. That's it. So I'm going to just do what we were going to do and I'm going to crack the six mil difference. I didn't ask him to do it. He said he'd help me do it. OK, let's get this mining no, I know the measurements of it. Yeah, I know, but I'm perhaps thinking maybe we get it all in and then measure it up and make sure you know at what end. I can cut this hit. down again. Okay, it's you not want to trim be the any fat more. after? Okay. Well, it's... Sorry, is that right? Looks like Chantel's got the bit between her teeth and there's no hope of reining her in. So Steve decides he'd be more useful picking up supplies. Can I, mate? How you doing? Oh, yeah. I um, need a few things from you. Meanwhile, back at the block, Chantel's well and truly in charge. We're going to cut that and then take six mil off what we'd planned. So I won't fix these in, completely fix them in, um, but we're going to just test it before we put it in. Then they, they will go in first and then that. That's the plan. Do you have any more nails and I'll start on the other side? Yep. That could pinch, please. Thank you. So, Chantel, who's this guy here? He's a plumber. This is Ben. He's our plumber and he's part of the positive team. So he's, um, he's helping so where he needs to, to help. So you're used to doing um, millimetre oh. perfect. Oh, there's been an injury. Let's take a closer look in action replay. Oh. Not too serious by the looks of things. I've never done that Steph, before. Wait, give it a moment. Ow. There you go. You know what? A pain's just oh. reached the brain. I'm in so much pain right now. If I didn't break that, I'm going to be quite surprised. Right. I've actually really hurt myself. Right, right. No, it's really sore. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Chantel's parquetry feature ceiling has hit a major obstacle. For sake. Chantel has smacked her thumb a beauty with a hammer. I feel like I'm going to throw up or pass out, and it's just a friggin' hammer to the thumb. It's not really that bad unless I've broken it. <laughs> that might make a bit more sense. Upstairs, Steve sorting out the plumbing, blissfully unaware of the medical emergency downstairs. Bit of drama while you're out. What happened to Chantel? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll, um, I'll need to go and have a quick chat. Oh, what happened? I did something stupid and smashed my thumb with a hammer. Oh, but did I you? Did it really hard, and it bled, and it exploded into a million pieces. That's a bloody painful injury. It looks like I'm going to have to be the bloke around here now. <laughs> How unfortunate. You're right. It's just a friggin' hammer to the thumb. And I can't stop crying because I'm so tired. I feel sick. It's all right, bub. We'll get through. I um, want to do the ceiling. <laughs> I'll do the ceiling. It's fine. Chantel's a real go-getter. This is going to get to her a little bit. Because um, she's, you know, you see how hands-on she wants to be, and she wants to be involved in everything. Trying to get the nail bag on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Get up and do it. Time for Steve to man up. After a thorough briefing from Chantel, of course. Let's say that's the zigzaggy parquetry, and that's the ply that's mm -hmm. sitting on top. There's a bit of um, a strip of tazio that's nailed in, and we need to get that. Um, what's it called? OK, let's say that's the parquetry, and then the pie's sitting, like, on it, right, the glued, because so, it's upside down. This side, we're cutting along the ply, right? Exact. Then this ply, we need to actually cut it instead of exactly where the ply, like, on the... Sorry. To be honest, it's probably time that I have to step up to, you know, take up some of the slack. Just relax. We'll get it done. Let's see that. Now, I've spent four hours already on this. Yeah. We're running out of time, the way I see it. We, if you want me to help you, you'll do it my way. Look, I don't want any special treatment. I know you've, you've, yeah, you've no, given right. us that today, and yeah. I wasn't expecting that, so well, I don't mate, want I, you I to do it. I want to make sure you finish your room. Yeah, well, that's it. I don't want your time wasted. Let's get this thing up. Right. And, um, yeah, it'll be a credit right. to you. I'll be out there in a minute. Yeah, thanks, Keith. Appreciate it. Over at apartment three... Bob, coming through! Lisa and Lysandra have finally found something to smile about. We spent oh, half a day middle. planning this. It took us a long time. It took to... us so long, but it's... I think it's paying off. Don't drag, don't drag. I'm not going to drag. Love this room. Love it! I think this is one of our best bathrooms. I think we're in with, I think we're in with a chance, chance of winning. I haven't seen what the others have done, but I'm pretty proud of this. You have to say that Carl takes pride in his work too. He spent about two hours getting the edge of the vanity right. Yeah, I've been struggling with my vanity. It's just been a, it's been a real um, head trip trying to get the timber right because it's so different and there's so many different angles. So, yeah, but I'm I'm happy with where I've got the product to now. So yeah, Cara and I are perfectionists when it comes to finishes like that because all the little fine details they're what count. And out on the road, Kara's making sure that all the accessories are perfect as well. I'm in my favourite place, Mark Tucky. I pretty much come here once a week. <laughs> I just thought I'll come in and have a look for a little stool. I'm not even sure if I'll use it, but it'd be nice to be sitting in the bath and have something to put your drink on. <laughs> I like that this has got a little bit more character to it. There are a lot of knots on the ceiling of our bathroom, so that might tie nicely. I think I'll go with that one. And why skimp when you're loaded? I'll put that one on my nav card. The boy 
boys were sitting pretty until now. Something's wrong with the Something beach ball. Looks like the unlucky fairy has visited them too. The roof itself was sitting down about five mil, so we cut 10 mil out of the ceiling so they can have a bit of play and we'll just talk to it later. We're going to talk in first, don't we? Just let the goes up higher. Right, that's it. Yep. the tiles, that's done. Tell you what, that was almost drama. Nervous, mate. Nervous times for number four. There's drama enough for everyone in apartment one. Take your time, get it precise. While Chantel seeks medical attention. There's a doctor that's opening um, two out of yours. can do x rays and all that. Keith's taken over the parquetry. I think they've dug a big hole they can't get themselves out of. And they didn't want Luke to come in today to save money. Uh, I don't know, I'd say Luke would have planned all this. I think Luke needed to carry it out, simple as that. Keith might think they've dug themselves into a hole, but Steve's got a ladder. It's called Plan B, wallpaper. If you think that the parquetry's going to be too much of an ask, We've got it just as a backup plan. Yeah. Well, actually, this is our first option, and Chantel gets creative and decides yeah. to go for the parquetry. Mm -hmm. If we get into trouble, if we're going to go to this option, why don't we use the parquetry screen just see how it looks without this border? So if you don't like it, we pull it down, then go to that. I like it. In a daring move, Steve's going to step up and step away from Chantel's plan. Oh, mate, look, Common I'm sense a... prevails sometimes. I'm a, I'm a realist. So you stay out of this, haven't you? I don't think Steve actually liked this plan in the first place. He's trying to uh, do the right thing and um, do what Chantel wants to do, but I think Chantel's asking for the impossible. ceiling saga continues. Keith has convinced Steve to try it out without the border. If he approves, that's what's going in. Yeah, I got it. You right, Yeah, I got it. I don't want to get your head. Yeah, Better be quick, fellas. Chantel's on her way up. This could get very awkward. How are they going to be happy with that? Is Chantel here? Look at that. pretty bloody good. I reckon it looks all right. Thank you, guys. Hey, love, what do you think of that? That's gonna be what it looks like. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Guys, thank you. Well, there you go. I started on this yesterday. I literally put blood, sweat and tears into this thing. I reckon there's a big red stain where my thumb was. Um, and I was really worried about how this had happened. Walked in the door to see Keith, Steve, Brad and Dale with beautiful park tree, looking beautiful. Didn't have the border, don't care. They did an amazing job and I'm really grateful that they that they helped us out. No, that looks really good. All right, thanks, boys. Look, I want to make Chantel happy at any time I can. I'm torn between getting things done, making Chantel happy, making sure I'm being of value and um, also not just sitting in the background. That's round one. Now I've got to paint this whole freaking place and get it ready for tomorrow. After a grumpy start to the day, the girls have changed things around for themselves too. Look and look over here and upstairs. This is obviously a result of... I don't know, we got fed up this morning, we were annoyed, trying to pull our finger out. This is what happens when you get us fired up. How you going, love? To be totally honest, I don't care about the parquetry. A minute ago, Chantel was happy with the parquetry. I look at it and just go, yeah, it kind of looks nice. 
Maybe the medication's wearing off. I appreciate, I do genuinely appreciate everyone's help and Brad and Dale taking five minutes or ten minutes or however long they spent to help put it up. Um, but at the same time now, I look at it and go, yeah, I, I'm not proud of the work I did. I, I don't really care about it. I didn't get to see through my project. I feel like I was a wasted day learning how to do things, only for Keith to tell me I'm not allowed to do them. I didn't ask him to do it. He said he'd help me do it. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I've earned one or not, but... No, uh, you did all right. I'm having one. Well, mate, it wasn't your idea, was it? it certainly was not my no. idea. We but... followed it through. Yeah. We got it done. Cheers. Cheers. You're a good bloke, mate. I wouldn't Appreciate have done it unless you were. Yeah, no, thanks, buddy. It's one thing to be off your time and to be generous to help somebody that I can appreciate, but to punish someone all day and to not actually let them um, be of any assistance, I think that's pretty mean. My whole day has been in here. I hope she appreciates it. Honestly, it would have been quicker for me to have a go, stuff it up and execute our plan B than spending the whole day meddling up with two different ways of doing things that now we've, we've got an unfinished product that Keith's pulled apart that really didn't need to be pulled apart. So, room reveal tomorrow. How do you think the room will go? Look, I reckon it's a pretty damn eclectic room. It's, um, they're either going to love it or hate it. Um, well, I love it. I reckon it's awesome. I reckon that's finished it off just, just nicely. But a few more um, licks of paint, I reckon we're in with a chance. I reckon you've got another big night ahead of you. So do I. So do I. The ceiling is done and dusted, and there's still heaps to do. But Chantel just can't let it go. Keith today made me, he ripped off our LEDs that we had paid, had, the electrician had already installed um, because there was exposed pine and it needed to be sealed. That was the problem. We couldn't just seal it with paint, like with an actual sealer. Um, but it was the look of it that he thought would be bad. Now, how it's been done, you're telling me that this looks better. So instead of having timber that's exposed, we've got, that would have been pine. Instead of that, we've got blue and white plaster. And that looks better. That's gonna lose us the room. Sunday night. Game one. Oh, it's, it's, it's bathroom judgment day. And one team will get a perfect score. OK, okay I've got my wow moment. Oh. It's exactly where it should be. This is incredible. <laughs> I want this bathroom. Yeah, I love it. This room is now the benchmark for this series of the block. Another will get absolutely slammed. OK, um, what's that? Serious? That's something you can't fix. And it comes across as try hard. Wow. It just sounded like a real bully fest. Plus, a controversy that will send shockwaves through the block. Anymore, and I'll be walking. I'll be walking. We should never have come on this show. Not ever. 